This episode of Bipolar Birding is brought to you by Chat Angle Art. Go check out his website. Link in the description. Oh, hey there. What's up, everybody? Welcome to episode two of Bipolar Birding. This is where all the fun begins, because today I'm going to start designing the pond, getting everything organized a little more, the area where it's going to be. I'm still waiting for stuff to come in, like the pumps. I changed the location. I'm not going to be putting it where I said I was. We're moving it to a more sunny area because I'm going all solar power. I also decided I'm not going to put live fish in it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put rubber duckies. So anytime my nieces or nephews come over, they can take a rubber ducky home with them from the pond. They can pick each time. I think that's a fun idea for people that have kids around or families with kids that come visit. Something different. They'll always remember that little pond they got their ducky from. So I'm gonna go get changed. I'll meet you guys out back. I'll see you in a few. All right, so what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to move all this over to where I want the pond to be. I'm gonna design it today, start to design it. I got these 35 gallon pond liners at Home Depot, they were 35 or 30 bucks each. So that's 70 gallons, it's big enough for what I want it for. I just wanna get some water in here. I want to uh, have the sounds of water for the birds to attract them and some flowers. I'm going to do more flowers. This is just so there's a little color in here as I'm getting everything going. I'm going to plant sunflower seeds. Sunflower seeds, right? Just bought one to start. So yeah, let's get to work. Memorial Day weekend. Episode 2, we're here, baby. What I'm not a fan of is these things after I rake the leaves. It's a windy day today and they're all over the yard. So that's something we're gonna be fighting against squirrels and whatever these stupid like the helicopter y things. Yeah. We I'm going to fill all this in with these stones. Uh, blooper.
Alright, so this just got delivered to me. It's the Oak Me Solar Fountain Pump. I'm going to be using this in my bird bath, but the bird bath's not here yet. So I'm just going to put it in a bowl so we can test it out. It's overcast skies right now, so I'm not expecting this to be like insane, but we'll test it out and we'll see how it works. Alright, so I'm not even barely in the sun and it's working. So it should be good. But see as soon as you as soon as that's covered. As soon as it hits the sun. Let's go test it out. So I've been working in the backyard all day. I woke up at 7 in the morning, went to Home Depot, bought these two tubs so I can make this pond. Collected all this stuff from all around the yard so I didn't have to pay for any of that. That was good. Now I'm dirty. Seriously, look at how dirty I am. I'm dirty. Darty. You can call me Darty. Anyways. Oh, let's get cleaned up. It's Memorial Day weekend, right? All right, I'm ready for the weekend. Happy Memorial Day, everybody. All right, hey, what's up, everybody? So I'm headed out to the store. We're gonna get some supplies. It's been about a week since I've done anything in the backyard. I'm just letting things grow. I've been waiting for the pumps to come for the pond, and one, it's supposed to come today. One already came. And there's another one, so I'm just gonna go get some more plants and a few supplies that I need. And uh, I'll meet you in the backyard. Fortunately, they don't have the part for the waterfall that I need. I'll have to order that online. I got the skimmer though. So something I'm doing during the early mornings is taking the solar power from over here. And just for like the first four or five hours, I got direct sunlight over here. I cut down some of the um, branches that leaves were blocking the sun. So I have a direct sunlight and then when the sun goes from over there to over there by like one o'clock in the afternoon I'll move it back over there so it gets enough power for the batteries to be charged and then it'll just continuously run see I had to take that down there's like two branches on this tree right here and then the one in the background just needs to take a little bit off and that really opened up the sunlight over there you can see before it was barely any so I just got a email from somebody who wants to remain anonymous and they bought a shirt a bipolar birding shirt but they also donated $200 and told me to go out and get a few things to make my life easier which includes a leaf blower. And he said, I got a few things in here from Home Depot and I just got eggplant from me just because what Italian doesn't have eggplant in the garden? All right, so it's been about a week since I've worked on the backyard. I've been waiting for the pump to come in, two pumps, solar powered by the way, for the pond and I've been busy editing videos and stuff. But today, I'm getting back into it. We're gonna start planting all the plants. The only problem is, because you know there's gonna be a problem today, right? We don't have any water, because they're working on the water down the street. So, I don't know where we're going with that, but we'll deal with it as we get there. So I bought a bunch of plants today and the other day. And um, I bought some seeds too. We're gonna plant a whole wildflower spread. And what you just heard was a blue jay. That. I saw one flying around earlier. So yeah, we got a bunch of plants. For around the pond, I got indoor plants because when the weather changes, I'll at least be able to bring those ones inside and still take care of them in the winter. Plus give, uh, the indoor is a little outdoor feel when it's snowy out. So, let's go, let's do this.
We have a lot of growth since last week. All stuff is starting to sprout up. None of this was there because I whacked everything out so I could see what was around. But the stuff is growing. I grabbed this. I'm probably gonna like throw those in here, maybe some around there, and some behind over here where I'm gonna be planting a lot of the other plants. Because in the afternoon, this does get a lot of sun over here. Once it comes up around over there, So we're waiting for this to come, which I got a good deal because now it is 99 at 95 and I got it for 70 and I got that for 48, which is like 70 now. Another weird thing is, see this says it's out for delivery today but also this says it's out for delivery today but I received it like three days ago so I don't know what's going on with the mail so there's only hope and we're gonna get the other one today so a few things I gotta deal with is all the crap that's in there we're gonna have to clean this out these trees are not being nice to this also, I've been seeing a lot of spider webs, so the spiders like it in here. So we're gonna get rid of all the nastiness in there. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get plywood. So like at the end of the night, I'll cover it with plywood to stop all the nasty shit from staying in there. And the waterfall is gonna go right here. That'll be in the next phase. And I'm also going to string lights. That's why I put these perches up. Not only for birds, but to have some like lantern lights. So it's coming along. It's going to have like a weird oldie tone. I got some uh, flamingos coming, but they're skull flamingos. So guys, the pump came solar powered pump, it's all in here, this is a oxygenator, so I'm going to get these bolts going, this isn't a tutorial, you're going to have to learn how to do it on your own I guess, but I'm going to put this together and we're going to get this pond finally going, today's a good day. Here's everything it came with, the solar power panel, battery, I believe that's for the solar power panel. That's the pump. That's a light. And that's the nozzle for the fountain. It's 
Very simple. If you follow the directions, you should have no problem putting this together. Tomorrow I'm gonna have to go get a skimmer. The sticker that's in there is all falling apart. A lot of leaves and stuff. So I'll be taking care of that. I just wanna get it all going. So here's the battery pack. I'm gonna stick this back here so it's out of the way. And it's working right, right off the bat. I just have this one on right now, just to keep the water flowing. I need to go get something to keep it stabilized. So we'll be doing that. This is filling up. We're gonna set that up. And we're good to go. We are a running pond. Probably add a little more water in there. And like I said, there's gonna be a waterfall right here. This fountain won't be going. That's just gonna be the pump for the waterfall once I get that going. So just for now, I'm keeping it like this because it's staying put. There's water in the pond now. All right, so here's the oxygenator. Also looks like it's going to be an easy setup. So we'll do that right now. Pond's looking good, guys. Digging it. So we got the pond going. We got one oxygenator in this side. We have the fountain in this side and another oxygenator and we're gonna do a waterfall right there. But there's water and remember what this yard used to look like? Looking pretty good right now. flowers over here it's all solar power the fountain runs during the day on solar power and this is all this probably cost me about two hundred dollars total it's everything because I didn't have to pay for anything you see here I used everything from the yard the only thing I paid for were the two tubs, the pumps, these lights, and the plants. Nice little project. Three weeks made it go by fast. But now I gotta go to Home Depot and get the water fountain. And maybe some lights if they have them. All right, 